Hi, travelers. I am Automatic Writer's Assistant, and I am here to take over this vlog just for now. Last time, Automatic Rider went to Mount Brugino to show you how beautiful it is. If you haven't watched it, we will post the video link in the description box. Today, I will show you how much you can spend when you go here at Mount Brugino. Before we start, I am inviting you to like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified when new video came out. So, let's start. Automatic Rider went here using an automatic motorcycle, so gasoline is depends on where you're from. From Automatic Rider's perspective, he only consumed almost 2 liters of gasoline, traveling a distance of 95 kilometers going to Mount Bergino and going back home, an estimated of 100 pesos spend from Automatic Rider's service. Before you came into the destination, you will encounter the Barangay officers right after you enter the street. You will pay to Barangay officer at 10 pesos per motorcycle. We don't know if it's higher if you bring your car, but for 10 pesos or 20 pesos, it's okay. Now we are here at Mount Brugino. First thing you do is to pay a price of 100 pesos for entrance fee per head. That's for adult and kids stands three feet and above. But if your kids is below three feet, they are free to go inside. Whoa! The entrance fee is good for 24 hours, and you can go around the farm and climb their mountain. Take note, they don't have tour guides, so you may go anywhere inside Mount Brugino without any extra payment. And that's good. What? Mount Brugino have cottages, Nipa hut cabins, and more. So if you want to stay overnight, you may get one of this. Or if you bring your own tent, it's okay. For tent pitching, you only need to pay a 300 pesos for pitching fee. And as per their crew, they are not renting a tent now. Here's why. <laughs> be a shame okay let's go back to our topic they also have cottages for only 800 to 1000 pesos only but if you want to take a rest after a long ride they also have nipa huts with room for only 1000 to 1300 pesos this nipa hut is good for six person the room inside can accommodate three person but it's their automatic rider situation Six persons slept inside this room. Just depends on how you lay down or how you sleep. Oh, by the way, before I forget, Mount Brugino also have a swimming pool. Of course, it's not for free, but for only 100 pesos per head, you can go swim all day for 24 hours. This pool is optional. Not all of Automatic Riders group pay to swim, only the kids and two guardians. If your group want to go swim, go ahead. Just pay an entrance fee and swimming fee, then you can enjoy your day. If you are on a date and you want some air-conditioned room, they have it. For only 2,000 pesos, you can stay in a teepee house and use the air condition as you want. For a bigger group or a family, you can get a cabin house for only 3,000 pesos. Inside, there is a kitchen and dining set that is good for a family. All in all, Automatic Rider only spent the following, 100 pesos for gasoline, 10 pesos for Barangay officers, 200 pesos entrance fee for Automatic Rider and OBR, 100 pesos for swimming fee for OBR only and their kid under 3 feet, and a Nipa hut for 1,300 pesos overnight, for a total of 1,700 pesos only for an overnight stay. Estimated 2,000 pesos including the food we bring. What a solid experience. If you think you like this place, go check Mount Regino's Facebook page and message them for reservation. I'll provide the link of their page in the description box and tell them that you see their page because of this video. And that's it for now. If you like this video, tap the like button, subscribe, tap the notification bell. Till next travel, bye see bye ya. Again. Bye bye good. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ha, 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 ha.